And now it's time for talking with Joe. Joe Rose is live from the WQAM studios this morning. Joe, you just heard Bianca giving the highlights, or rather, the lowlights of that Team USA soccer game last night. What a loss! Team USA will not be playing in the 2018 FIFA World Cup, first time since 1986. So, Joe, I need you to settle a debate for me that I'm having on Twitter right now. I tweeted about this story, and people are saying, "Who cares? No one watches soccer here." I say, "Yes, they do. People watch soccer." So, what do you say? What does this mean for soccer in the states? Well, it's this is terrible. This is a big, big setback for a sport. And I will tell you, I don't watch soccer every day. I do have favorite teams overseas that I like. I like Barcelona. I like Real Madrid. I like to watch the best players in the world. But we have a league here, the MLS. It's a professional league. We've spent a billion dollars to develop soccer. It's getting more popular in this country, no matter what. A few idiots might tell you here in South Florida, don't listen to them. As you look at this thing, that was embarrassing. Lack of effort, energy, uh, what, worried that the conditions weren't perfect, complaining about the field and all that stuff. It's ridiculous. This is a big setback. How about Fox? They spent $200 million for these rights. How about, how about you look at their Nike, their, their uh, shoe contract and their, and their shirt contract? You look at that. How about the sports bars? It, every time the United States would play in a World Cup, everybody likes to watch the World Cup and, and see how we do against the best teams in the world. I think this is a major setback to the whole program that has to be evaluated for all the money you're spending, all the people that are playing all all the men and women that are playing this sport, it's terrible what just took place. Absolutely embarrassing. Yeah. Where, what is it? Who did they news. lose to? Tough T news. Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Tobago? Joe. <laughs> Trinidad? All right, that's my, Joe. that's where my doctor's from. Oh, Joe, we're going to switch gears here for a minute because we got to talk Dolphins. And uh, reportedly, we're moving on already to a new offensive line coach. What do you know about this guy? Uh, coach goon has been around a long time, first of all. Very good coach. Uh, I don't know how much he's going to help right now. He's just coming in, getting his feet wet again. He has been around the National Football League for the last 15 or 16 years. He's even with the New England Patriots. He had been with the Miami Dolphins going back to 09, 2010, and 2011. So he's been around here before. Uh, he comes highly recommended to help uh, under a really crummy situation right now, but he will help uh, with the offensive line. I don't know if they're officially calling the offensive line coach or consultant or what, but he's going to be helping with that offensive line for sure as they try to get things fixed so that the rest of this offense can get going again. But a very difficult situation to come in and uh, try to get things rolling here real quickly with the Atlanta Falcons this weekend. All right, Joe. I'm sure they just got to focus on that game. No more distractions. We won't distract you any longer. Focus. No Go more back distractions. To the radio. <laughs> we'll talk to you in the next hour, Joe. That's right. <laughs> no more distractions. Thank you, Lauren. Bye.